Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm coming to you with a general love reading for the collective. For those of you who are on a twin flame journey, this certainly could hit home for you. If it resonates, please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, I do have another YouTube channel called Serendipity Tarot. I do love readings for all the zodiacs, so check it out if you haven't already. Um, so I get a lot of questions about is this reading for me you will know if you're on a twin flame journey okay um certainly all messages will not hit home for you it's general it is for the collective but again spirit will guide you here if this is for you okay if you're on a twin flame journey you you will know okay you will know um so we're gonna do some oracle cards as well as some tarot and kind of look at what's going on right now the energy between you and your person your twin okay so that's kind of what i do on this channel so let's jump right into your reading i'm gonna start off with some oracle cards and um take it from there all right all right spirit angels guardians guys what messages do we have here for the collective for those that are on a twin journey any all messages if this is home please like share comment and subscribe as you know this is a new channel for me so i'm trying to trying to help it to grow get the messages out there for you guys if you want a personal love reading, um, it's $35 for a love tarot spread. Check it out. Okay. Any messages for those on our twin flame journey? Ooh, okay. We got two cards came out. All right. We have leadership. Okay. Trust came out in reverse, patience and wonders. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that there's someone who struggled taking this leadership role here in the connection. Okay, I feel like this is someone who it was their responsibility to take lead, it was their responsibility to move this connection forward. And I feel like they failed you, right? Your twin, um, they knew that it was up to them. To do something whether it was to commit whether it was to show their faithfulness whether it was to invest okay this is someone who they had a difficulty time staying in this leadership role okay i feel like some of you guys um they struggled with it they didn't tell you that so i do feel like your person um it's not that they didn't want to be a leader for you they didn't want to be a leader in a connection i'm getting like an alpha type male certainly some of you guys are done with your divine masculine okay i feel like being a leader, it's not that they didn't want to be a leader. It's just that they struggle with it. This is someone who may have lacked role models in their life, okay? Maybe they grew up without a father figure or a mother figure or leadership roles. Um, and I feel like that's something that they struggled with, okay? Taking ownership of a connection, moving this forward, committing, okay? We have trust in reverse. You can be dealing with someone who has some trust issues. Um, I feel like it's not that they didn't trust you. They may not have been trusting of love, right? This is someone who may have been fearful of love. So there could have been some trust issues between you guys as well. You may have found like this person did things that was untrustworthy. Um, and you question if you can trust this person, okay? So it could have, that could have been the reason as to why you guys separated as well, all right? Patience, all right? So we have the temperance energy here. Patience. There may be a need for patience right now. Certainly, you guys are on a twin flame journey. It, it's not easy, right? There's some days you just want to give up. You wish that you never met this person. You wish that you could just um, energetically cut the cord, right? Um, patience. Patience is needed, okay? Wanders, okay? So we have the wanders energies. This could be someone here who's doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting, wondering how you're doing, wondering what's going on with you. I feel you guys are definitely in that same energy. Um, I'm getting a lot of very powerful energy. We got like the amethyst stone here. The amethyst crystal. Some of you guys are very intuitive. I feel like you intuitively feel this person um, around you. I'm getting like their presence is around you when, uh, yeah, some of you guys are physically distant, but you feel this person, okay? That's kind of how that twin flame is, okay? So let's see what messages. I'm going to get some tarot. Leadership. What's this leadership about? For my twins, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on with my twins out there? Okay, 
what's going on leadership why, why is this leadership here any messages here for my twins okay Ooh, to a sword. So your person was very conflicted about taking this um, leadership role in the connection, right? Being the person for you, being your lover, um, committing to you, being a husband, whatever, a husband, wife. Um, this is someone who had a difficulty time with that, okay? This could have been something here that your person wasn't seeing. They may have felt blocked, um, but it was something they struggled with, okay? And that two of swords, it's like some of you guys, they had another option, all right? That may have been the reason as to why they couldn't be this leader for you. But this is someone who made the bad a bad decision ultimately that caused this connection, okay, with that two of swords energy. Uh, it may have been the reason as to why you guys um, separated and divided, okay? Why you're so divided right now. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. I typically don't call signs, okay? It's your twin, we all have like a little bit of everything up in our chart. Ace of Wands and Reversa, yeah, there was a pullback. Someone all of a sudden gave up on the connection. They stopped putting in effort because they felt that they couldn't be this leader for you. They felt like they didn't know how to take charge. They didn't know how to overcome some kind of fear of this being this being in this leadership role for you. Okay. So yeah, I feel like some of you guys, this person took on more than they really needed to. It's like when you're in a relationship, it's like you guys give equally, right? There's reciprocity. It's like the Six of Pentacles energy. But for some reason, your person felt like they had to do more. Some of you guys, this person also struggled um, where they were in their life, okay? They were not financially in a good place or they didn't... Um, they were not in a good place with regard to their career, okay? They expected more of themselves, and I feel like they, they felt that they needed to have a certain level of accomplishment or a certain degree or a certain job in order to be that person here for you to, to provide, okay? I feel like certainly if you're dealing with your divine masculine, they may struggle with um, their inability to... I'm getting like just financially, okay? Financially provide or, or um, invest... In the connection or something there's something that this person struggled with okay and that may have caused this person to not be able to move forward here with you why something certainly could have started quick and ended quick with the ace of wands in reverse okay we also have six of swords okay we have and the seven of wands in reverse so i do feel like you know your person does want to go into common waters here with you the six of swords and seven of wands they may have been very guarded towards you i don't think it was necessarily you i think it was this internal struggle that your person was dealing with okay that's something that your person knows they need to work on and i do see that something that they are trying to do better they're trying to work out their their internal conflicts um any personal issues that they have any feelings of inadequacy that they may feel as well okay um the seven of wands yeah i do feel like they blocked you out they guarded you someone who supported them someone who was actually there for them they actually you know they pushed you away okay with that seven of wands they kind of they didn't really let you in they could have um put up a fight here okay all right let's see why is the trust here let's see why is the trust here got the star and the eight of wands in reverse so yeah i feel like this person's trust issues got in the way of this moving forward right i feel like communication could have stopped all of a sudden okay um the eight of wands in reverse is telling me something did not move forward okay i feel there was yeah definitely delays and stagnant energy here because of trust some of you guys you may have found that this person was dealing with someone else there could have been um some communication you found out about texting emails or something you discovered that you have lost trust in this person they could have been dealing with an aquarius or someone else um i'm getting also some kind of public uh, public figure celebrity status this person could have lost this person could have lost your trust because of their involvement with someone okay and i feel like it could have been something over social media instagram facebook okay this person could have been interested in someone because of their status or the attention that they got from other people with the star energy, okay? But yeah, I feel like, you know, this was a very, very special connection. I do feel both of you guys still have hopes for each other. With the star, it's about, you know, staying optimistic about your love life. This is about having hope and faith and not giving up even with all the challenges and the stagnant energy, the resistance from this person. But yeah, I do feel like there was some major trust issues, okay? This person certainly could have did a few things in the past that has um, made you pull back. 
because you don't trust them, okay? Made you pull back because of something that was untrustworthy. Let's get one more card here. Ace of Swords. So there was some kind of communication. There was perhaps some kind of communication between you and your person, okay? Or you may have found out the truth. If this person withheld information from you, if they were dishonest with you, I feel like they may have tried to block some kind of communication coming through to you, but you found out. The Ace of Swords is truth, is clarity, and seeing how something truly is, okay? Now, patience is here. We have the Magician, okay? Gemini energy. Um... Yeah, there's a need for patience. There's a need to have faith, hope, right? Um, the magician, some of you guys are manifesting this person back into your life. Um, don't underestimate the power of manifestation, right? Set it out to the universe what you want. Um, be clear on what you want. Don't just say, oh, I want my twin. I want my person back. No, ask the universe, like, what kind of person do, do you want this person? How do you want them to change? How do you want them to make you feel? How do you want them to um, treat you? right? Be clear on what it is you want, what you want to manifest, okay? Let the universe help you. The universe definitely has your back. There's also a need for you to be patient, like, you know, let go of control issues. We have the five of pentacles. So yeah, some of you guys, you know, there's definitely the energy of feeling stuck right now. I do feel like both some of you guys, certainly you and your twin are both feeling left out in the cold, okay, by each other, right? You both want to manifest, but you can't seem to come together right now. I'm getting a lot of communication delays and issues. You guys are not on the same page. I'm also feeling like your person is blocked and they're wanting to overcome this. They're wanting to manifest some kind of um, beginning here, but they may be taking their time right now because they feel like it's not a good, good um, time for them to reach out to you because of what they've done. I feel like your person, yeah, they want to get out of the cold, but they're not sure how to approach you is what I'm seeing. Patience is here. I'm not going to take all these cards. The Queen of Swords is trying to come out. There's someone who wants to talk to you for sure. Um, I mean, your person, your twin. Okay. What's this about? Oh, the sun. So there's some kind of breakthrough. There's something that's going to be illuminated. Okay, the sun is about clarity, but also healing. So I do feel like something is going to come to light, okay? Um, that's why Spirit is saying be patient with this. The magician, there's something um, happening. There's an opportunity that's taking place. Um, and I do feel like it, it's because of your person. They, they're now feeling alone. This is someone who feels perhaps abandoned, right? They may have abandoned you, but now they're feeling abandoned. Now they're, really, they're realizing that there's no one else in their corner, right? You could have been the person who was... Um, there for them. You were their biggest supporter. You were their confidant. You um, gave them great advice. And this is someone who now feels the lack. They feel the loss in their life, right? Things are um, in their life aren't the way that they wanted it to be, okay? Um, but I feel like they really miss you. This is someone who really does miss you. They're having a difficult time with the separation. The wanders. Why is the wanders here? I feel like your person is doing a lot of wandering. Yeah, the hermit. So while you guys are in separation, the hermit, Virgo energy, they're doing a lot of thinking, soul searching. I'm getting also some shadow work here, wondering what's going on. I feel like, again, you guys are definitely energetically connected with this ameth amethyst stone here. Um, strong, strong intuition, even some psychic abilities, some of you guys, okay? So if you guys ever like wanted to like go into tarot or if you guys are very spiritual continue to do that because there's something here that you guys have a very very strong connection i'm getting it in this particular reading for those of you guys who are connecting with this um particular uh reading here this message you guys are definitely you guys have some kind of psychic ability so definitely um tap into that a little bit more um but what i'm seeing is that your person is on hermit okay they're doing a lot of thinking right now reflecting on their life their mistakes their judgment calls their decisions with regard to this connection this is someone who wants to do better okay um let's see the hermit why is the hermit here and wanders they're wondering what's going on with you we have oh the ten of cups here Wow. So I feel like while they're in hermit, they're doing a lot of thinking and they're realizing that you were their happiness, right? You did bring them happiness to their life. Some of you guys, it was a family situation, the five of wands, but I feel like this person brought unnecessary conflict, right? The five of wands, there was a lot of delays or there could have been family meddling, friends meddling, third party activity that got in the way of the connection, it could be even a karmic. But I do feel like your person is realizing with the hermit energy, the things that they've done that has jeopardized this 10 of cups here with you that have gotten in the way of you guys being able to, to come together and fulfill this happy this happy dream okay all right let's see any other messages for my twin flames out there
Give me the messages here. Ooh, okay. We have in the world, not of the world. So, yeah, I feel like your person, now that they're distant from you, now that you guys have gone your separate ways, they're they're very lost in the world now, okay? That five of pentacles energy, they feel like they feel very small, okay? I feel like they certainly could have gotten used to being with you or um, having you there, having you to support them, okay, through the, the life's tribulations and stuff. And I feel like now that you're not there, they're feeling alone in the world, okay? So in the world, not of the world, we have we have the number 34. And number 34 may be of significance to you, okay? We have the number 30, the perfection of your life. So I feel like your person is coming to this kind of realization that, you know, their life isn't perfect, okay? Um, this is someone who may have sought perfection, okay? They may have wanted perfection. They may have thought that relationships were perfect. There was never going to be any arguing, right? This person had an unrealistic view of relationships, of love, okay? And now your person is realizing that they can't ask for perfection all they can ask for is for you to be the best version of yourself and for them to be the best version of themselves this person also could have been very hard on themselves certainly with the leadership role here um right they wanted to be a leader they wanted to do a lot they wanted to accomplish this person again may not have been able to reach that point where they've been very satisfied or reach this career um career fulfillment in their life and they could struggle with that to be perfect so their desire to be perfect could have gotten in the way of their ability to be um that person for you right and it's okay this person felt like it was not okay for them to not reach that that point in their life where they were um financially stable where they were grounded where they had a home and a car and whatnot and i feel like you you never asked for them to be perfect Right? You only wanted them to be themselves, and they couldn't be that, okay? Let's get one more message. We have receiving coming out in reverse, number 27. Number 27 may be of significance to you guys. What I'm seeing is that your person had a difficult time receiving. Receiving your love, receiving the gifts, receiving and knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, you were there for them. I feel like your person... um. They're also a blocking out, I'm getting, they have a blocked intuition, okay? They were not receiving the downloads from the universe and messages um, guiding them in this connection. I feel like this person was resisting it, okay? So, yeah, I'm getting a lot of blocks on your person's end for sure. Let's see any other messages from... From Spirit, hold on, I want to make sure this doesn't cut out on me, Okay. Uh, let's see what this person would say if they could from their higher self, okay? This is from soulmates and separation unspoken love messages, okay? I'm going to see what would this person say if they could. Certainly if you guys are not talking, which majority of you guys are probably not. That's how twin flames are, right? There's a lot going on behind the scenes, but no one is saying anything. Let's see what's happening. The distance between us is killing me, right? The five of pentacles here with the hermit. They're definitely feeling the distance. They're missing you, right? They're having a difficult time with the separation, but they're not telling you that. So yeah, um, they're definitely they're definitely struggling right now, okay? Um, you know, you guys are both are, right? Okay. Too many cards. Let's see. Any other messages here for those that are on a twin flame journey? What do they need to know? I know I failed you and let you down big time. So this no, they know that they are a failure. They know that you didn't deserve this, right? They let you down. Again, this is someone who they wanted to be a leader. They wanted to take um, control. They wanted to move things forward, but they couldn't. So they, they failed themselves. They failed you in the connection. Big, big time. Okay. Let's see. We also have, um, I'm feeling emotionally void without you. So this person is feeling, um, they're feeling at a loss, right? Um, 
they're having a difficult time emotionally during the separation here with you, okay? We also have, you just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days I don't even understand. So yeah, this person has some insecurities or they had some fears. Um, they felt they were not good enough here for you or good enough for themselves. And I think that's ultimately what happened. It, you know, it really... It causes this person to take a step back. It caused them to perhaps run away from this connection. Um, but this is something that they don't even, they didn't even realize, okay? This is something that this person could be going through some kind of mental illness um, that may be causing them to question their own life, okay? So they're going through something that they don't even understand. So you, some of you guys, your person may need some help, okay? That they couldn't get from you, okay? Any messages here? I'm scared you will not accept me now. So this person's having a difficulty time with acceptance, right? I feel like the acceptance is not so much about you accepting them. I think they have a fear of accepting themselves, okay? I feel like that's what it comes down to. Your person cannot accept themselves for the way they are. And so now they're fearful and scared that, you know, they've jeopardize a very beautiful connection here with the ten of cups um again there was a lot of love here at one point and now your person is hermiting they're doing a lot of thinking a lot of self-reflection something here is definitely um going to be illuminated to this person okay so yeah um we got the sun here right here this healing as well okay for your person so that's good news for your person who you know whoever is resonating with this if your person is going through a very difficult time um they have not been able to open up to you and they're kind of keeping this all balled up. There's some healing that's taking place, okay? Especially if they're dealing with some kind of self-esteem, self-identity um, issues here, okay? Regarding self-acceptance as well. So, yeah, that's what I have for you guys, um, your twins. Let me know if you hit home, if it resonates for you. Uh, I appreciate your love and support of my channel. And you guys, take care.